this is Caroline, Margaret, and Katie from the Lumen Christi 7th grade discipleship class presenting you with the good news to go for the fourth Sunday in Lent, March 6, 2016. This gospel is found in Luke chapter 15, verses 1 through 3 and 11 through 32. So, Margaret, I was wondering, why does God forgive when we fall astray? I don't know, Caroline. Let's read the gospel to find out. Share of your estate that should come to me. So the father divided the property between them. After a few days, the younger son collected all his belongings and set off to a distant country where he squandered his inheritance on a life of dissipation, where when he had freely spent everything, a severe famine struck the country, and he found himself in dire need. So he hired out one of the local citizens who sent him to his father's farm to tend the swine and he longed to eat his full of the pods on the swine fed, but nobody gave him any. Coming to his senses, he thought, how many of my father's hired workers have more than enough food to eat, but here am I dying from hunger. I shall get up and go to my father, and I shall say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. Treat me as you would treat one of your hired workers. So he got up and went back to his father. While he was still a long way off, his father caught sight of him and, filled, and was filled with compassion. He ran to his son, embraced him, and kissed him. His son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. But his father ordered his servants, Quickly bring the finest robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Take the fattened calf and slaughter it. Then let us celebrate with a feast, because the son of mine was dead and has come to life again. He was lost and has been found. Then the celebration began. Now the older son had been out in the field, and on his way back he neared the house. He heard the sound of music and dancing. He called to one of the servants and asked what, the, what that might mean. The servant said to him, Your brother has returned, and your father ha has slaughtered the fattened calf because he has him back in safe and sound. He became angry, and when he refused to enter the house, his father came out and pleaded with him. He said to his father in reply, Look, all these years I served you, and not once did I disobey your orders. Yet you never gave me even a young goat to feast on with my friends. But when your son returns, who swallowed up your property with prostitutes, for him you slaughter the fattened calf. He said to him, My son, you are here with me always. Everything I have is yours. But now we must celebrate and rejoice because your brother was dead and has come to life again. He was lost and has been found. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. I thought a really important part of that was when the Father forgave the Son. Yes, I really felt God was speaking to me. How? Well, I feel God was telling me that if I turn away from God and my faith, like the younger brother who turned away from his father, who is like God, will forgive me. The older brother did everything his father asked of him, but when he didn't get what his sinning brother got, he became jealous. So that means you shouldn't just go through the motions of being a Catholic, but you should let your faith be in both your hearts and your emotions. Ooh, that's really cool. So I feel what you're saying is that you need to be an active Catholic and extend forgiveness to those who hurt you, and not just a Catholic who goes through motions, and when you sin, God will forgive. Yes!
I wonder what happened to the older brother after the parable ended. Did he enjoy the party and forgive his brother like his father? Or did he continue to sulk? I think it is important to forgive others because it is what God wants us to do. Yes. So, what do you think it means for us today? Well, I think it means that we need to be forgiving. Also, that we shouldn't just go through the motions in life. We should really put our faith into practice in our daily lives. Yes. And this is the good news to go according to Luke.